And we begin tonight with that deadly chaos at one of Europe's busiest airports. French military opening fire on this man, killing him. They say he tackled a female soldier, then tried to seize an assault rifle from her, then took that soldier as a shield before authorities took him out. At least 3,000 travelers evacuated from Orly Airport, hundreds trapped on incoming flights. Investigators say this man, a 39-year-old, a suspected Islamic terrorist, had been on their radar. Tonight, what police found at his home, plus his chilling last words. ABC's Lama Hassan starts us off from that Paris airport. Tonight, a city on edge. The chaotic scene unfolding at Orly Airport in Paris. Heavily armed special forces and emergency vehicles responding to the attack. 8.30 a.m., a man yelled, I'm here to die for Allah, before assaulting a female soldier, violently trying to grab her weapon and use her as a shield. When she broke free of his grasp, two fellow officers opened fire, killing him. His lifeless body seen on this airport surveillance image. This eyewitness said, we saw people running and heard a boom. People were looking to exit the terminal. This happened really quickly. The airport immediately going into lockdown. Flights diverted. More than 3,000 people forced to evacuate. Pictures showing travelers walking on the highway. The bomb squad sweeping the airport for explosives. None were found. French security forces were quite well prepared. They appeared to be well trained and acted very quickly and professionally. Two hours before the chaos erupted at the airport, the suspect allegedly shot an officer with a pellet gun and stole a car. Investigators searched his home and say they found a machete, money and cocaine. Police confirm the man is 39-year-old French-born Ziad Ben Belgassem, known to intelligence services as a radicalized Muslim, just released from prison in November. Last month, a similar attack occurred at the Louvre, the country already under its highest alert level after several terror attacks, including last July's deadly truck attack in Nice. Now, Lama joins us live outside of that Paris airport. Lama, you mentioned in your story France is on its highest terror alert level. What's the mood like out on the streets? Well, people here are still coming to terms with yet another attack on French soil. And tonight, Tom, the flights here at Orly Airport have resumed. But make no mistake, with 10,000 army officers patrolling the streets in France every day, this is a country under a continuing state of emergency. Tom. A heightened sense of alert, no doubt. All right, Lama, thank you.